Whoever, whoever thought that bike fit will be this difficult? Oh my god. So wet. Right on. Hi everyone, Zach here back with another video. So today will be a special day. I'm getting a bike fit from ID Match. A quick intro uh, before I proceed with ID Match. Uh, right now I'm in H2C in Ampang. So H2C actually they sell a lot of different brands of bikes. They are actually a bike shop that sells Polygon, Factors and even Obeya and also Gusto. So if you all want to check them out, do come out. I'll leave the description down below. Before we begin, we're going to have a brief introduction on ID Match. Uh, I have Justin over here today. Hi everyone. He will be the one that will briefly go through what we're going to do today to get my bike fit done. So if you, if you all watched my previous video or you follow my social media content, I already got a new bike which is Polygon Helios A7X. So before bike fit, I already feel some tingling sensation here and there. So we'll go through together how to fit this bike properly for me for my upcoming event. Alright Justin, maybe you can intro a bit on ID Match to my viewers over there. Okay, uh, first of all, ID Match actually is a bike fitting system. In a way, they have a server which has like, all the data with all the riders around the world. When you fitting into a particular person, mm -hmm. they will matching back the similar body shape inside their server. Oh, okay. So they, they can even more precisely to get the better position for your body. So meaning that all these uh, measurements later, then everything will pump into their server? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Never experienced something like this before because all I know is some, some people do prefer manual uh, bike fit. How does this ID match compare to manual bike fit? If you compare to manual bike fit, actually all the bike fit trying to achieve the same goal. To fit the rider yeah. more comfortable mm -hmm. and riding more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Usually, the fitter has to be very experienced, yeah. has to be knowledgeable. Yeah. So in order, they have to get into the problem of the rider. Because ah. every every rider, even though if you have the same issue, mm. but at the end your problem is not the same. But for ID match, because everything is running by the, the algorithm, mm -hmm. so the bike fitter, to be say, you no need to be very knowledgeable. <laughs> but you have to understand the, the concept. theory, the concept, the theory of the bike fitting, okay. and how to operate the, the system. Yeah. Okay. If you are very knowledgeable bike fitter, mm. it's like a perfect match. Perfect match. Yeah, you, you can save a lot of time mm -hmm. on the try and error mm -hmm. and also you can achieve a fitting with less time. I see. So uh, bike fit process, how long will it take to compare it to ID match and also manual bike fitting? For the duration of bike fitting, mm -hmm. for the manual type, it's very really depend on the situation and also the bike fitter. Mm -hmm. That's why easily you can eat up for 2 hours or more or maybe 3 to 4. It's very really depending how much they're going, going through during the bike fitting session. For ID match, Usually we take about let's say more or less about one and a half hours. One and a half hours. Oh, that's maximum. Important. Maximum you only takes about two hours. Oh. Maximum. Okay, maybe perhaps uh, how about you walk through what are we going to do today with ID Match? When we will begin or what are the steps that you will do to fit me to my new bike? For the whole procedure, the first step usually we gonna take the measurement of your current bike. We simulate on the smart bike here. Okay. Okay. During the fitting section. When they're doing the adjustment, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel the differences with your original setting. Secondly, going go go through your pathology okay. questions like what you have an issue on the body. Okay. Yeah, back I do hand, have shoulder, actually back pain. <laughs> yes, all okay. these sort of things. After that, we're gonna do a click setting. Okay. Yeah, click setting and the bike setup. Alright. Only we're going starting for the bike fitting. Well, yes. if let's say if I got a. a after setting up the whole bike, bike fit process already, is there any like warranty or guarantee period? Okay, of course for all the bike fitting, yeah. you're not going to solve your issue in one go. Yeah. After you've done the fitting, you're gonna riding with the new settings. Your body gonna take some time to adapt to it. After you adapt to it, let's say like maybe two to three weeks or maybe one month, you're going to have different kind of feeling. Mm. So we're gonna take your feedback mm -hmm. to see how well it's going on or, uh. or is it going worse. Okay, so not to worry guys, so if you all want to try bike fit, it's never a one-time off. So you heard it from 
Justin already. Now we are going to perhaps I will uh, set myself up, maybe wear my shoe or just complain my problems to him. Then we'll, after that we are going to see what's the difference that he can make to my bike fit. Alright, let's go. Okay. As you all can see the music video just now, Justin has already set up my bike, I mean measure my bike. So what's next after that? Okay, before we start everything, now I need you to sign up an account in the IBMAT system. Mm -hmm. uh, just please fill out your information. Okay. Okay, then we can keep on the second step. A few minutes later. So finish key in my details. Right now the screen is like that. Come, let me show you. So Justin can explain why is all this Okay, because bike fitting mm -hmm. is not only exclusive for road bike. Actually, there's a many kind of the bicycles. We have, we have mountain bike, we have TT bike, mm -hmm. even like cycle cross. I don't, okay. I don't think Malaysia got cycle cross. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can based on what spot you are you are doing. Mm -hmm. You can do the bike fitting dedicated for that spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the menu for what what bike are you using? Okay. To do the bike fit. They were going for road bike. Yeah, we're going for road bike. So next. We're going to get to know your pathologies. What is your problem you're having during the cycling? Mm -hmm. Do you have any injury before all this? Because this is gonna let the system know. Mm -hmm. So they will giving you a more tolerance when doing the fitting. Mm -hmm. So it won't giving you more pressure on the area that you have issues. Okay. If you have any problem in for your soreness, you can just click it. Very interactive. Yeah, but as I Justin mentioned it earlier, you don't have to do it now. Just get the optimum position dial in first. Then once the problem persisted, then only you come and minor adjust it. Okay. Unless you have a really have an issue mm. like pain mm. or injured injury or before. very very long long period. Mm -hmm. Usually like the lower back lower back and the neck is very common in the Malaysia for Malaysia rider. Mm -hmm. If let's say you have an elbow issue, mm. maybe we will get to know. Okay. If you have anything happened to your elbow before, mm. or maybe uh, let's say your sit bone, mm. or maybe you have wrong saddles, mm. okay, your knee. So mm. we get to know that problem. I see. For, for such a problem, we may need to declare, declare the, the, the problem. Scale, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, I don't have any. <laughs> okay. okay. That's good. That's good. Yes, good. Huh? Mm. Okay. All right. You protect your body very well. Okay. So from over here, what what should we do next? Okay. After after the pathology section, yeah, we're going through to scan your body. Okay. Okay. So first, we need to scale your weight. Oh oh. Uh, you I'm know 58 kilo. You confirm, ah? No need I to put so. scale again. I think so. I think I'm scale. <laughs> So after the measurement of your body is considered done, the next step we're going to measure your feet. For the feet measurement, this one has to be done by manual because this one we can't simply use a camera to measure it. Yeah. First of all, we're gonna to measure did your feet have tilting issue. I need you to put either of your feet on top here. Okay, gonna position E. Okay, throw it straight. Okay, move forward. Okay, up you. Okay, squat down. Alright, let's go. Okay, so far from the measurement. Your both feet are is considered very straight. Mm -hmm. You don't have a tilting issue. Okay. Okay. That's very good. In the small portion, they will have a, a slightly supinated. Okay. Which is a uh, going in, going inside. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So next, we're going to measure your feet. So now we need to measure four things about your feet. Okay. First is your feet length. Okay. Secondly is your metatarsal. This is the point of pedaling. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna measure the metatarsal. Mm -hmm from your heel to the bone. Okay. Third thing, we're going to measure your width of your feet. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing, we're going to measure your foot back or foul. Put your left feet inside. Okay. Stand like normal. Both feet. Okay. okay. All right. The heel is on the back. Okay. Just like this. Just relax. So 
Pokemon within your measurement. Just now you are considered with this straight neck, so it's neutral and you have a medium arm. Usually after we done the measurement and the scanning of your body, it will come out a pre-setup recommendation. The pre-setup usually they will recommend uh, two things. One is on your feet, mm -hmm. the other one is on your bike. On the feet side, you're gonna have your clip positioning mm -hmm. for both feet and how many degrees you're gonna do it. Okay. But since you are normal normal feet, so you don't need to apply degrees. Mm. Usually people have like a supinated or pronated issue, mm. you need to apply degrees to correct back their knee angle mm. so that you're gonna have a straight knee again when, mm. when riding. Okay. For the bike, they will usually recommend three things. Your handlebar, your crank arm length, and your saddle size. For the handlebar, the sizes they recommended is extra small which is equivalent to size 38. The crank arm length is 170. Correct. Okay. And the saddle size is small, uh -huh. profile 2. For the saddle, usually it takes more knowledge than what we do usually. Okay. So like what we said just now, according to the type of the pelvic, the shape that's suitable is also slightly different. Mm. Let's say for the number one profile, which is their pelvic tend to bend backward. Okay. Those riders, they are more suitable to sit the saddle which have a more bigger curve. Mm. So when they sit okay. on the saddle, they will have more red up on their pelvic. So you feel more comfortable. For the person which is a number two type, you need the saddle which is a less curve. These are considered the standard range. Mm. And then the third type, flat saddle, which is what we know usually flat saddle. Mm. For flat saddle, it's more recommended for those who have a number three type which are their pelvic tend to rotate forward. So because for the people, the pelvic rotate forward, when they're sitting on the saddle, they are more likely to bend forward. Yeah. So when they bend forward, you won't, since you won't have a curved spot, you won't have an un, unpleasant pressure okay. on your going part. Okay. Okay, so you feel more comfortable. Mm. Based okay. on the recommendation, what type of saddle? Okay, you want, you want number two. Number two. So it's a like small curve. Mm -hmm. Okay, based on the Type 2 rider, you are okay to use with a saddle which are type 2 or type 3. Type 3. If type 1, not recommended. Okay. Then, last one, lastly, if you are not type 3 rider, then you are only. So, if let's say you are lastly, you are a type 3 rider, so you are only recommended to use the type 3, which is flat saddle. Mm. The rest with the curved one is not so recommended to use. You so I, I, I'm 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 uh, the curve one lah. Huh? Yeah. Oh okay, okay. Okay. So you can use the curve one mm -hmm. or the flat one oh. with no issue. Just which one you feel more comfortable. Oh. But okay. I, I right now I don't know. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Later we will look through your saddle. Okay. But most the saddle come with the complete bike usually with with a curve one. Mm. Okay. So next we're going to set up your your shoes mm -hmm. with the new clip position. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we done that. Then we're going to prepare for starting the bucket. Okay. Okay? Okay. A few moments later. Bloopers, bloopers. <laughs> Look at my clip. How to do bike feet. <laughs> Just <Justin, laughs> your <laughs> You walk more than you ride. Huh? You walk more than you ride. I walk more than you I ride. Now. Some ride. people say I santai. I memang santai rider. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys have already seen it, Justin already done some setting to my clips. Apparently, I got a lot of mistake. I'm not sure whether you can see that or not over here. The If you can see the marker line, that's my previous setting. So apparently, I set my clip wrongly. Well, I, I bet all of us will do these things uh, because previously I set this by just watching YouTube and then I see some tutorials online Then I thought I can set it then I use some time to tweak it and then I feel comfortable but I'm not sure uh, we're going to test this later on so after this Justin what are we going to do? okay so now we are prepared we already done scanning and the pre setup okay so we are going to prepare for the beginning the bike fitting mm -hmm. okay so after this we're going to set up the smart bike here okay to similarly as your 
current bicycle. So we try to mimic the everything same as your bike, mm -hmm. the handlebar length, the saddle type, mm -hmm. okay, and the crank arm sizes. Okay, okay. Let's say your crank arm size is 170. Yeah. So we're going to adjust the crank here mm -hmm. to 170 length also. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna set up and prepare for the bike. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Ready. So basically, uh, what Justin has done over here has already precisely measured all my measurements and then he already done the, his bike fit stuff on this bike. But apparently, my, my saddle over here is not backward enough. They are still lacking 3 cm. So basically, I might get the wrong size bike, but anyway, it's good enough. So I still can try out the fitting first, then only we'll see how we proceed from that. But because of that, I have one big question for Justin over here. So Justin, in your opinion, what do you think? You should bike fit first, only you get a bike, or you get a bike, we should think the size fits you, then only you do bike fit. Which is the better choice? Actually, the best way, always, you do the bike fit, then only you go to get a bike. If let's say you go buy the bike first, in case you, you totally get the wrong size. <laughs> yeah, that's true. After you've done the bike fit, what are you going to do? Yeah, sell that's the bike true. and get a new one. So, <laughs> we sadly get a bike fit Play first. Play safe, get yeah. a bike fit first. Get huh? to know your position. Uh -huh. Then when you're looking at a new bike, mm -hmm. just make sure the sizing can apply your new setting onto it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then there's a, there's a more set over. Yeah, so all, all, I believe there's an easier method for you guys. You all need to just measure your body parts or your leg accordingly. Then just make sure that that frame is able to cater to your bike fit so that won't larry too much or get away in a way to bike fit like my condition over here. But anyway, I'm just gonna test this out first and see how bike fit changes in terms of the clip and the saddle position. Then I will see how it feels later on. If there is any problem, I'll update you guys in this video. So in terms of pricing, if you all want to try ID Match, you all can look for Justin. DM them in their H2C Instagram page. I'll leave a link down below or their Facebook page. Alright, thank you very much okay. Justin over here. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's very really meaningful for you all or you learned something from this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a like. Consider to subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends. Or ring the notification bell so you won't miss my future content. Till next time everyone. It's the cycle. Right on. Bye.